Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Letabo Mambana Tisan, and I'm back again with another YouTube video. So, if it's your first time up in this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can become part of the family. If you already subscribed to my YouTube channel, shout out to you, you and I are buddies. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm so that this video can be spread out to other people in recommendation so that they can also enjoy this video um, and the good content that comes with it. So, today um, I'm, I'm doing something different. I want us to do the back testing um, on, on any pair. So, I will just select a pair and see which one can we back test together. So, we're gonna do the back, back testing in the forex trading and let's see how we can actually get to understand how we can um, approach the market, you know. Because, you know, um, it's kind of tough out there, it's kind of tough. So, but um, yeah, let's go ahead in the video and let me show you how I do my back testing and. You can maybe follow along if maybe you are a beginner trader you can just simply do the same thing and replicate maybe that will come in handy and then if you are experienced forex trader you can just simply comment down below um what is it that you th you think actually about this video what is it that i can actually change or what is what is it that i can i can upgrade on my videos so without any further ado let's get right into the video and let me Let's begin the back testing. Yes. Okay, guys, welcome back to my laptop screen. Right now, we are looking at NZD USD daily time frame. So, this is daily time frame that we're looking at, and this is NZD um, USD. So, that's what we will be looking at. And firstly, we we'll need to establish a market structure whether the market is on an uptrend or downtrend. So, I'm gonna start on daily time frame and I'm gonna go down to lower time frames until i get the perfect entry all right so we can very clearly see when we're looking at the market right now that this is on a downtrend as you can see the market here attempted or tempted attempted <laughs> attempted to go to the upside breaking this high here leaving this higher high right then the market what did is um let me remove this thing then what the market did is it broke structure it left a higher high here then it went down to leave a higher low then it went up to put in a higher high then here was a change of character leaving certain order blocks right so then hence i'm saying this is a clear downtrend um a downtrend market right so then let's just play price forward and let's see what will happen or before even that let's just um make an example with this order block so here's the order block that the market reacted from right let me just mark it so that we can clearly see it here is an order block that the market reacted to from um, from or to right then the market when down it went up to react and it went down but it never broke this structure here to the downside so let's play price forward and let's see what the price did okay price then went to the downside impulsively after tapping into this order block because this is the order block that the market is now reacting to and it has reacted to before but failed to break um, the structure to the downside so we are expecting the market to further push down and to break this structure but we do not know if that will happen or not let's just wait and see let's play price forward and let's see what's what happens so the reason why we cannot use this order block right now for our entry is because it has already been touched. It has already been tested and now this is for the second time. So we need to see price breaking um, maybe this structure to the downside. So we need to see price breaking this structure to the downside before we can react from this market. Okay, I made some mistake here. Let me just, okay. Let me do it again. So I need to see price breaking this structure to the downside before I can react or before I can look for a certain order block. So let's play price forward and let's see if price will indeed break the structure here for me to use this order block 
up here as my point of interest so let's play price forward and let's see what happens so as you can see price is going down price has now just removed this low here and it also removed this previous low so it it, it then makes this order block um my point of interest and i'm just gonna highlight that so let me just remove this one for now and let me highlight this one so this is the point of interest that i will now be looking at for price to come and tap into and react from it another order block is this one here um let me just mark it also so let's see if the market will tap into this order block and react from it or it will tap on the order block that's above this one and react let's see what happens let's keep playing price forward let me just do it like this so price is going down it's going up it's going up it's going up down it it didn't touch it didn't touch so it's still continuing so now price has tapped into this other block impulsively and nothing happened it didn't react so now it has stepped into this one so we are dropping down to uh four hour time frame and let me just remove this one because it's no longer valid so let's drop down to four hour time frame and let's see what's happening there so we are now on four hour time frame so this is the daily order block daily time frame order block and let me also just remove this uh, trend line here and let's monitor price so on four hour time frame it made a fake breakout so it left this i mean it broke the structure this structure when it was going to the upside so meaning that we are now waiting for this level here to be broken before we can um consider doing anything or we need to see something happening here before we can uh, disqualify this one so let's keep on playing price forward and let's see what will happen so basically this is just following price action nothing else so this is how we back test this is how we do back testing in forex trading and and getting to understand your way of trading and also following your trading plan so let's play price forward and let's see how it unfold so price keeps on going down so it didn't it doesn't actually actually leave us any clues of what is it that we need to do next um what we then need to still look out for is for price to break this horizontal um ray down here so let's keep on playing price forward let's see so it keeps on going down it keeps on going down it goes down so what happens now is that price went down it left this low and it made a lower high lower low so we expect a lower high from here so let's make this and see if this will benefit us or not let's see so it has now on four hours tapped into this order block let's drop down to 15 minute time frame and let's see if this will indeed um, benefit us so we're dropping down to 15 minutes let's see so it tapped into that order block nicely and before it tapped into that order block it broke the structure to the upside here right so it broke the structure to the upside and it left this low here this is the low that was responsible for the break of structure to the upside before the market can tap into this for our order block right so let's play price forward and see what's happening so price is going up down up it's now going down so we're waiting to see if price will break this level here impulsively right so it did break this this line here or rather this structure here however it's not impulsively but then you can always risk it but then your your risk will be minimal so let's just risk it because now it has broke the structure so you know nothing is perfect in this industry so we're just taking chances it's a game of chances but also minimizing your loses right so let's just risk this let me pull out my fibonacci retracement tool and let's see the other blocks that we need to look out for so 
First order block that we have that makes perfect sense is this order block up here. So the order block that I have, but it doesn't make much sense because it's below 50% is this one. But like I said, this is um, game of chances, probabilities and everything. So we're going to um, just take our chances, right? So we're going to just take our chances from this one. And if it doesn't happen here, um, we, will all, we will always wait for this one then to react from it then also if it doesn't react from this one as well then we t we take our lo losses and we move on um so let me just remove this thing here so firstly i'm gonna put my entry here which has already been triggered and what is my stop loss you see my stop loss is not that huge and my take profit will be here at this line here but ideally you can always go to for our time frame and let's see the recent low that we can target so we can always target this low down here let me move this one we can always target this low down here because price went down it left this low and it tapped into this order block then now it made some other blocks when it was still going down so we can always target this low it will still be fine let's see if our take profit will be hit or not um, let me just drop down to 15 minute time frame and let's see what's happening there so how many pips are we targeting now 53 pips and how many are we willing to lose only 12.3 pips so let's see if price will give us what we are expecting or not let's play price forward and let's see okay so we are now in profit we are in profit okay it's now retracing going back down up boom then we hit our take profit so this is how you can follow price action and do your big testing and everything will come into play so every time you see an opportunity you just hop in and minimize your risks so you have to obviously have a target how much are you willing to lose on a certain on on an on each trade that you are taking right so if it's more than what you are willing to to lose then you simply leave the trade alone and you just let it run right Be because it's not what you are willing to risk like the way i trade is i'm willing to risk at least 25 pips on every trade on every position right or should i say on every setup i'm willing to risk about 25 pips so if my stop loss then will now be anything above that then i'm not taking the trade so this one was a perfect one even though it wasn't 100 percent aligning with my trading plan but we still benefited from it by taking our chances um, while minimizing our risks so this is how you backtest guys and this was nzd usd on from daily time frame up until 15 minutes time frame so this is how everything unfolded and we made about 53 uh, a pip so if you were going with 0 0.01 lot size this is about five dollar uh, 34 cents so you can imagine if it was a one standard lot so it's quite a lot of money for those who are still trying out like myself so guys it has been your boy Letabo Mampana Tisana, and i'm out peace